the Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 252 of a daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Jungle Playing Card from Art of Play. So, with no further ado, take a look and see what we get. So, here we have the Jungle Playing Cards here, in a matte white finish tuck box with a bunch of colors all over the tuck box. Here it says Art of Play Jungle Playing Cards, illustrated by Moody. And then on the front here, you got some like multi different colors. Here you got like a kind of like a leaf, kind of like tree, kind of little pattern going around. And you got like the two birds up here, like two different, well, you know, two of the same, They're like multi colored like birds there. And then you got the kind of like little creature like down here. Okay. And then you got some like rainbow kind of like lines or some kind of rays. Going off there, and then you got like the hanging flowers, and there's that kind of jungle kind of vibe there. On the side, you got some more kind of jungle vibes. You got like the the feathers there, and then you got some like little beetles. Other side has more feathers with those beetles once again. There, and then on the bottom it says. What does that say? This spot or something, I can I cannot read what that is, but it says Art of Play, San Diego, Art of Play logo there, premium playing cards, made in the USA. And on the back, you got a sneak peek of that back design. There's more jungle theme. On the top, you got some leaves there. And you got multicolors, so you got some like yellow, bright yellows, pinks, purples, blues, and greens, and some reds in there. And on that inner tuck flap, you just got more like flowery and weave kind of patterns. And it's slightly textured. So you can like slightly feel it's not really it's not really embossed, but you can still like feel like the texture of it a little bit. And on the two inner tuck flaps, you kind of got some like purple and pink like hexagons or octagons. No hexagons. There's like a little blue center there. And then we take the cards out of the box. On the inside of the tuck box, it is just plain white. Nothing too crazy going on inside of there. Now that we took a look at the tuck box, come take a look at the cards. Oh yeah, and I, sometimes I don't mention this on some of the decks, but there was no seal to seal the deck. So this is a open deck there. No specialty seal or anything. Now that we've seen the tuck box, come take a look at the back design first. Here we got a mirrored back design. With the standard white border. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like a border. It's, it's kind of like a borderless, but there's still the white border. There's just no like defining like edges. Because the pattern does a, there's a few gaps between like the pattern there. So it looks slightly different than like a, a standard one where it has like a defining white border around it. But here we have in, for the design here, the mirror design. With you got like in the middle, it starts off with that kind of like circle kind of the design, like inspired, where you got the monkeys there in the middle. There, and then you got the snakes off there, and then you got those two like two cane birds or something there. And you got a mosquito on each side, and you got a bunch of like green leaves and flowers all over it. And you got the pink flowers there in the middle. And there's a mirrored back sign. We flipped around, it's the same design in both directions. You got those green leaves, and you got like those yellows, purples, blues, reds, pinks, every color you can name. Now for the card you get with the deck. And we start with the first Joker. It says Joker Joker there in that custom font. And then the Joker is a tiki pole. And you got the different like faces there. On it, you got some leaves down be below and some branches going off of it. And it says Art of Play, illustrated by Moody. And then for the second Joker, it is an identical Joker. So you got two identical Jokers there. And we got a little Art of Play ad card there. Which is Art of Play in that custom font and the Art of Play website there at the bottom. And you kind of got like a little skull kind of planter there with a plant coming out of it. And then for the extra card, you get like a double backer, but one side has like the standard colorful background. And then, one second, I just kind of dropped it for some reason. But anyways, 
or back. You know, like one side has that colorful design, and the other side is black and white. You know, the black and white side, and so it's like a double backer, but with a little twist to it. And for that custom Ace of Spades, as you can see, it's a nice big Ace of Spades with like a purplish kind of like black, like little border there around. And then you have like the leaves and branches coming off of it. And then you've got like a parrot on the inside there. For that animal there on the inside there. With those multi colorful colors once again. And it says Made in the USA. And then you've got the custom like lighter font up there. And for the rest of the spades here. You've got the custom like number fonts there in the corner. And then you've got the custom spades. Which are a slightly bigger kind of spade. Okay? And it is then that custom design there. They're like more like pronounced, like bigger, like thicker kind of spades there. And we got the court cards, the Jack, Queen, and King of Spades. Those are fully custom, and they're all animals. So they all, I'm not going to mention this for them all, all the cards, but they all have that kind of leaf kind of pattern there. And they all have a different type of animal. So for the Jack of Spades, you've got like a, a monkey. And then for the Queen, you've got like a flamingo. I don't know if flamingos are in the jungle or not. We got some kind of bird and a little beetle there or bug. And then you got for the king of spades, you got a little mosquito, but then you also got like a panther or a puma, some kind of big cat. And you got the custom ace of diamonds there, which is a white and green diamond there. With that green, green kind of leaf pattern on the inside. And the rest of the diamonds here are that custom diamond shape, more of a square diamond shape and it's kind of like a lighter red like a dark light red if that makes any sense and then we get the custom court cards once again and they're pretty i guess they're kind of similar but like this one's they still have the same type of animals just like a different version of it well this one the jack of diamonds has a different style monkey there and it's a pink colorway monkey and the queen of Diamonds has like a blue bird there, even like a peacock or something. And then you got another cat there, like a red cat there, with a king of diamonds. It looks similar to the other one, some giant big cat. And then you got the jack, queen, and king of clubs there. And then for the king of clubs, you got another giant cat in the yellow colorway. Right? Then you got for the queen of clubs, you got another bird there with a really big eye. And then you got a little, another type of bug. And then for the jack of clubs, you got another monkey and it's in that red colorway. And then for the clubs, you got more of like a, like I said with the spades, more pronounced, like more like a thicker kind of. And then bigger, like the pips are a little bit bigger there on the cards for the clubs. And that custom club design, and then for the ace of clubs, you got that green and you know, the green and white club there with that kind of leafy kind of pattern there. And then for the hearts, Jack, Queen, and King of Hearts. Once again, you got those same three animals. You got the cat there. It's more of a all the colors combined for the Queen of Heart, King of Hearts. And then for the Queen of Hearts, you got another bird there in like a pink and blue colorway. And then for the Jack. Of hearts, you got more of like a purplish kind of monkey there. And then for those hearts, you got a the bigger kind of style pip there, and that kind of slightly custom heart design there. Then you got that lastly, that ace of hearts there, which is similar to the last two aces there, where it has that white and green kind of pattern colorway in this one. You can actually see like a butterfly. Kind of design in there. I'm not sure if there's any other kind of like animal designs in the last two aces or not. I didn't see that. But, and now that we've seen the cards, time to test the handling. And first we'll start with the springs. Also nice and flexible, it's got a nice flex to it. 
they're not over bendy they're not like super stiff which is nice so like a nice medium kind of flex and bend to it they feel nice and smooth and they're definitely with slippery cards well, there's no issues with the springs pretty standard and normal springs nothing too crazy going on now one two the fans And because there's like that little blue little like bird there in the corner with a little blue beak. So you get like a blue kind of like line pattern going on the edge of the deck. As you can see, they, you can see most of the pips and numbers. They spread pretty evenly so there's no stickiness or clumpiness to the cards. And they're pretty consistent. Now on to the Pharaoh. And they Pharaoh pretty smoothly there and it locked away flawlessly. Now for that giant fan of the back design. Nice colorful giant fan. Now for that reverse Pharaoh. And they fare pretty nicely. They did catch a little bit, like they were a little caught up on each other. But they interlocked away decently, not like perfect, but not too bad. Now for a giant fan of the faces. Now time for the Wiffle Shuffle or Bridge Shuffle. And the third one to seal the deal. So, we got three nice perfect ripples in a row there. So, if you get three in a row, that means they're pretty good at doing ripple shovels and bridge shovels. So, they seem to be pretty smooth and consistent. No issues there. Now, move on to the packet cards. Well, the pack cuts were pretty normal pack cuts. They were slightly slippery from time to time. But overall, they weren't too, too bad. So it is pretty like standard and average. There's nothing overly special with the pack of cuts. And now time for the one-handed cut or Shirley cut. Now time for the dribble. Well, the dribbles seem to be pretty like normal dribbles there. They're still pretty nice and smooth though. Nice and consistent. But overall, pretty normal dribbles there. Now time for that spread fan. And without dropping the cards on the table. Lastly, we'll spread the cards on the table. Well, I gotta say, this is a pretty fun and fantastic looking deck from Art of Play. You got that nice colorful mirrored back design, which looks fantastic. And if you, the longer you look at it, the more you can see over time, which is nice and fun.
So all those nice bright colors. And then for the faces, you got the fully custom faces here. You got those fully custom jokers. You got the two identical jokers, which is nice. And then you got the, all the custom fonts for like the numbers there in the corners. And you got those custom court cards there. Well, all the court cards, like the suits, all like the kings and the queens and the jacks, they're all like the same. All the queens are the same, all the jacks are the same. But they're like a different like, style bird, which is kind of nice. So you know what they're going to be, but at the same time, they're different at the same time, which is nice. So nice, unique, kind of like design for their faces here. So overall, design is fantastic. Once again, I like the design. And then for that handling, which you just saw, there's no issues whatsoever with the handling. They handle fantastic, and they are slippery because they just flew out of some of them just flew out of my hand there but with that being said i hope you enjoyed and this has been day 252 of a daily deck review this has been the jungle playing cards from art of play and i'm the canadian calculator signing out that's the video thanks for watching see you next time bye